Once upon a time, there was an unoccupied jobless teen whose 90% of the day was occupied with streaming cringy contents, tedious music, and scrolling posts of buddies jobless like me. But believe me, those years have been lost somewhere in the yard, and now I hardly spend an hour lingering on this possessed community. So how do I manage to unrelate my interests from social media junk? Similar to a religious Sabbath, a digital Sabbath is a time period each week when you eliminate certain things to focus on others. For example, you could eliminate all social media or all internet usage over the weekend to focus on maybe family, relaxation, mindfulness and so forth. What I usually do is that if using these platforms is vital for me and I cannot resist to not use it at all for maybe some business purpose or if I am a content creator, thereupon I turn off all their notifications because most of the time we use this not because we actually want to see something worth watching but because our fingertips are automatic to click on those icons as soon as we switch on our mobile screen. Keep and record your screen timings as it will aid you in aspects of self-realization. For some, it is actually significant and impactful. If resorting to these platforms isn't a necessity, I would highly recommend to take a week or probably a month off from them. Start with humble steps like withdrawing from this habitual ritual for an hour or a day in case you literally can't survive without it. Line up all those horrifying apps in a folder and keep it off from the site so that whenever you operate your phone, it doesn't appear in the front cover and swallow your priceless time. Well, let's talk about some remedies now. When we will follow the aforementioned steps, we will be entirely blank. And so our mind will try to process those previous habits of scrolling past the reels and the post to drag us to the same zone. Therefore, here are some selected substitutes to balance the unbalanced. Attend to podcast on Spotify. Sign up to Quora. Come across the inside stories from InShots, acquire understanding of different languages from Duolingo, listen to your favorite music or hone and master certain skills. Above all, the impulse of self-affirmation was the motivating factor for me to carry out this change and due to which I am able to make the best use of time and get better at what I do. One should possess the strong-mindedness before executing any purpose in their lives. Well, let's end this session of monotonous mantras and I wish all the luck for outstanding changes in you.